Unit 2. Listening. Exercise 2. Speaker 1. I'm 26. I've got a job in a clothes shop and I live alone in a small flat. The thing is that my mum is constantly calling me. In some ways it's great because I know she loves me and I find out what she's doing and if she's okay. But she will tell me what to do all the time. She's forever offering to help me at work. She says that if one day I can't go to work because I'm ill, she can call my boss for me. She doesn't understand that I stopped being a child when I left school. I'm an adult now. It's true, it isn't always easy being an adult, but I need to try doing things my own way, even when it's the wrong way. Speaker 2 I'm a history tutor at the university here. I've worked here for 30 years, and I can't remember seeing so many parents as this year. They'll come to talk about their son's exams or assignments. They'll ask why I gave this mark and why it wasn't a higher mark. One student forgot to come for an exam, and his mother came and asked why her son couldn't do the exam another day. Well, I explained that her son needed to start taking responsibility for himself and for his own mistakes. Parents have started doing everything for their children, and now children aren't doing anything for themselves. It didn't used to be like that. Speaker 3 I don't think it's fair to call me and my wife helicopter parents. We have two children, one at university and one who's just started work. When I was in their situation, parents behaved differently. I often wanted my parents to help me at school, university or even work, but they didn't used to have time. We're lucky we've got time to help our children, to find good courses and jobs for them, to do work for them if necessary. I like to make life easy for my kids. That's only natural, isn't it? Speaker 4 I couldn't believe it. I was doing something important, but I stopped to prepare myself for an interview with a 23-year-old science graduate. There was a knock on my door, and there was the graduate, with his mother. She wanted to be with her son at the interview. She said she had some questions to ask me. I explained it to her very clearly. To do this job, you need to be independent, responsible and want to get ahead. Having your mum with you at a job interview doesn't really show that you have those qualities. And that was it. I said goodbye to them and closed the door. Speaker 5 I've never really tried influencing our daughter's decisions. When she left school, she said she didn't want to go to university. I wasn't happy, but I didn't stop her. She tried doing three or four different jobs, but she really didn't like them. Then she decided that she wanted to go to university after all. She applied for a course in business management. They offered her a place, and she's there now, and she loves it. I think everyone needs to live their own life and make their own mistakes. When you try to make somebody do what you want, not what they want, it can be a big mistake.